Lem's in the building. You're listening to Risco live on Represent Radio. How are you, my bro? Good, bro. Thanks for having me, man. What are you saying? What, you're in London for the day, couple of days? What's the plan? Bro, I'm just here doing this. Obviously, I came down yesterday. Mm. Just chill for the day. Had this today. I didn't really know what to expect, but so far it's been good. And then tomorrow, I've got some studio. Okay. Some things here and then, and I'm just cutting back to money, bro. Okay. And I'm guessing you're in and out of London to money to London to money all the time. What are the yeah. key differences that you've noticed going back and forth? Bro, the traffic is insane down here, bro. Say a word. Yeah, like how long it takes you to get to a place where it should only be 20 minutes away is insane. Like in money, you can get everywhere in like half an hour max. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's busy. It's, it's busy and busy in London, isn't Everyone's it? doing something like Manchester's more laid back, you get me? Yeah, yeah, 100%. But what I like about the UK scene right now is that you no longer have to be just from London mm-hmm. to make it in this UK thing. You can be from Manny, you can be from Birmingham, mm-hmm. you can be from anywhere, right? Facts. So who would you say is going harder right now in this rap thing? London-based artists or non-London-based artists? Non-London-based artists, but you know why? Because I feel like we have more to prove, innit? Yeah. I feel like London's just the, like, the generic place you go to for the music. So yeah. I feel like outside of Manny, you kind of got to prove yourself. Yeah, you got to work harder, definitely, innit? Definitely. What's the reception been like for you back in Manchester? Like when you when you step out to the shops or whatnot, do the little kids look up to you? Do you mm. get shown a lot a lot yeah, of love? Yeah, I be getting a lot of love still. Say a word. Love. I don't really step out like that, but when I do, I always get love. Mm. They got money, man, every time. Because of TikTok, people are probably gonna think you're a bit of an overnight success mm. that just dropped Elevate mm. and then two MS and then bang. Mm-hmm. But people don't know that prior to those two tracks, time, you dropped bro. nine tracks, bro. What made you stay motivated and keep dropping and keep focusing on your purpose? I'd say like mainly just, obviously I'm, I'm the type of person, if something don't work, I'm always gonna try to do something else. Try and keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. So I feel like that whole relentless sort of ambitious attitude towards it helped a lot. Mm. Definitely like I'm very like trial and error. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. You had a crazy two single run with Elevate and TMS though. Mm. How did it go from transitioning from a local Manchester upcoming artist mm. to now an established signed artist getting millions of streams? It's crazy, bro, but like at the same time, it hasn't really hit me yet. Swear down. I feel down. like it hasn't hit me yet. I think I'm, there'll be a time in it, something will happen where it just pivots my, my thought process. But as for now, bro, it's just things are kind of stay the same, innit? I'm still yeah. in the booth, still working, still got the same people around me. Like, mm. it's just different goals now, you get me? Oh, yeah, no, 100%, man. But this is Nems. Live with Risco on Represent Radio, about to play Money and Vibes. Come on, let's go. You're listening to Risco, I'm live on Represent Radio. Today I am joined by Nems and right now is a very key stage for you in this music game. Obviously you dropped Type Beat last year, now you're in campaign mode. You've been dropping pretty much every single month. Getting loads of streams. Gotta stay consistent, bro. Loads of TikTok views, bro. I see your socials going crazy. What do you think is the key to growing your fan base and ensuring that your fans and your listeners stay retained to your music in a market that is so saturated? I say like, firstly, yeah, you gotta make sure you stay original. Just stay true to yourself, innit? Yeah. You never try to be someone else to cater to your fans. You always gotta be yourself, and that's who they fell in love with in the first place. Of that's course. Like supporting. Etc. Etc. You get me, and I feel like also just work on impressing yourself each time. That's what I do. Yeah, I yeah. Just try and impress myself more and more and more and more each time, and I know if I do that, mm. people will like it. You get me? Yeah, no, hundred percent. Sort of like a me versus me thing. Yeah, definitely. And you've announced your your next mixtape. Mm. Do not disturb. Why the name? Mr. D and D, you know, man. Mr. D and D, yeah. That's my trademark right now. I can't lie. Mm. And how have you grown as an artist from type beat to now DND? What key differences are the listeners going to notice from EP1 last year to now mixtape 2 this year? I think with this one, it's going to be more topic based. You're going to be able to know a bit more about me because I'm going deeper in topics than I've, I've ever have. You get me? And I definitely think like the quality of music is definitely better as well. Okay. There's a lot more things in there for people to relate to. Yeah, yeah. You, me? you might not like the song, but you'll definitely have something to relate to. Okay. And I see you've been picking up a lot of co-signs from other rappers in the industry, such as Heady One, mm-hmm. Clavish. What's the atmosphere within the UK rappers right now? Is it a lot of support within each other or a lot of people trying to tear each other down? Is it competitive? What's it like? Obviously, I ain't a rapper, innit? Mm-hmm. So nah, what's it like? 
the industry is full of ego, isn't it? Mm. Like, not everyone. I won't speak for everyone, but the people like people that I've come across and experiences I've actually had firsthand is very ego based. Yeah. You get me, man. Man don't want to reach out to the other guy because they feel like they're better. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to the relationships I have, it's because they're, they're real, in it. They're, organic. They're, yeah, it's organic, bro. I can actually hold a conversation, man. We can talk about things like there's no, there's no. Oh, I'm a rapper. You're a rapper. Da da da. Ego. Mm. You get me? No tension. Nothing, bro. Is there a personality adjustment that you had to make when stepping into the music industry? Because the industry is full of vultures, and as you said, egocentric is crazy. Coming from Manchester, maybe I don't, I'm not sure. It might have been very different to growing up where you are from. Now stepping into the industry, mm-hmm. is there sort of an adjustment you had to make? You know, like not really, you know, because I've mm. always been like a to myself person. Like, I've always just like my own space. I got my friends there, but I don't really go out. Too yeah, much, yeah, yeah. You get me? Mm. Like I'm reserved, bro. So as it, when it came to the industry, obviously it's new. It's new, like certain things I had to learn, like even just getting distracted. Like it's very easy to get distracted by this X, Y, Z things. You get me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the only thing I had to adjust personally. Of course. But aside from that, bro, it's just the same. It's everything's, been calm. Everything's the same, man. And there's a video of you floating around with US rapper Lil Yachty. Mm-hmm. How did that one come about? You know, he posted. He posted um, AM in Manny mm. on his story, in it. And obviously, I reached out. I was like, love for that. And he was like, let's Sell let's work, in it. Yeah, yeah. Let's work, bro. But I'm not. I'm not gonna say too much on here. You get me? Okay, I'm okay. Not gonna say too much. But you lot, something, something's coming. Say no more. Something's coming. And I've seen a very popular US streamer, Astro Speed, mm-hmm. post your songs a lot. He knows all the lyrics. He's always playing your music in his streams. Mm-hmm. What do you think's been key in building that bridge over to the US? I feel like it's. I feel like my songs are very like easy to understand, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of people get get confused by the accents but I feel like mm. mine just kind of rolls off the tongue it's easy to understand and it appeals to more of the international side than the UK you get me I yeah, feel yeah. Like that definitely helps big up speed though man big up speed showing love showing since love. he's been playing your songs in his streams have you seen uh, an increase in your streams or your social media followings has it been definitely, crazy definitely when when he when he did it on he did it one the first time when he did it on his intro that was like circulating online and that people started sending me oh ting speed you ting speed you ting then the next time when he was with he was with philly, philly yeah, yeah in philly. brazil when that, when that came up yeah the people were loving it people that's, were loving it that's a madness you're listening to risco on represent radio today i'm joined by nems this is ptsd you're listening to risco live on a thursday 7 to 9 p.m today i'm joined by manchester artist nems and we're gonna play a quick little game. I'm gonna say three words, yeah, maybe even four. And you're gonna to have to tell me who does it better, Manny or London, yeah? All right, first one, parties. Manny. Manny. Manny, you know. Bro, say to word. be fair, I ain't really been out in London like that, but mm. Manny's lit, bro. Food Manny's shops. Lit. London. London. London, yeah, yeah. What, which shops bro. in particular, do you remember any? I thought with Marley's. Hey, I nice calm, man, I'll edit it out. I've, yeah, Marley's, bro. Marley's, yeah. Marley's is the one, I can't lie, and then, Chicken Kitchen bangs too, you know. Chicken Kitchen, yeah, 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 yeah. that's Chicken that's kitchen. from my my neck of the woods, West King, London. Bagel King slaps as well. Yeah, okay. You know and your spots. Y- yeah, and the yard shops. I don't know the names, but the, the Jamaican shops. Mm. Is banging as well. Okay, okay. Banging as well. Ladies, mm-hmm. ladies, Manny or London? No comment. No comment. No comment. No that comment. One. <laughs> no comment that one. All right, vibes. Manny got better Manny's vibes. vibes. Why do you vibes. think that is? The atmosphere in London is just too not good yeah, enough. Yeah, you know, what, like if you go to a concert in London and you go to one in Manny, you'll just see the difference, bro. Okay. They're just lit. They're not. They're not afraid to get lit. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Speaking of concerts, I saw you out in Germany with Luciano. Mm-hmm. How was that? Seeing the love that you're getting outside the ends. Bro, it's crazy, you know. Like mm. even to see that people who speak another language, yeah, like, rate me that much is insane, bro. Okay. It lets me know that I'm doing something well as yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Doing something well. And you're doing your own tour in the UK. You sold out a few dates across London, Manny, Berms as well, maybe. London, Manny, Dublin, and Glasgow. How did that make you feel? Last year you was you was doing little shows, little club events, and now you're doing your own headline shows. It's crazy, bro. Crazy. I had I had my last tour in September. And that sold out. And even that, I didn't think it would sell out, bro, because I didn't really know how much of a fan base I had in the UK. So for that to sell out, and then this one, there's only one date left. It's only money left in it. The rest is sold out. That's it's, a madness. It's a blessing, bro. You get me? Fair enough, man. You've been doing bits, man. But Namus, thank you so much for coming through today, man. It's-